look at your uh, your first road game coming up um, in the Carrier Dome. I, I know a lot of guys on defense. They actually look forward, like Lou and Farrell, look forward to going and playing teams on the road, uh, maybe even more so than at home. Though. Are, are you back? Yeah, I do. I, I mean, obviously love home games and being in the Valley, but it's a great opportunity to go play in a new environment and see a new place. I've heard a lot of stuff about the Carrier Dome, how it's loud and Obviously, two years ago didn't go as, as planned, so we were definitely looking forward to going back and uh, just playing Clemson football. Saturday was hot, but was it, it fun being a part of that with the atmosphere and the heat? The fact that the defense was just playing so well. Right. Yeah. It was. It was great. It, w it was a hot one for sure, but you know, it just speaks to um, our fans and, and the environment that we put out there every Saturday. You know, they're not a. They're not, they weren't afraid of the heat, and neither were we, so we came out and just performed and, and did the best we could. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Do you feel like this is a predictor of, of how you guys can affect the quarterback the rest of the year? Because obviously you were affecting them. Right, right. Yeah, I, I think it is. I think the, the defense and the D-line especially did a great job and just being disruptive, and you know a lot of that is a testament to Coach V and the great system he puts in every week and the blitzes we dial up. So, yeah, I think – I think we did a great job, and I think we're only going to get better. So. I think you were injured two years ago. Did you not make the trip up there? I did not make the trip at that time, yes, sir. What, what, what do you just remember about that, that game watching? It? Well, I remember watching it and just being really bummed out after that. Everybody was. Uh, that was going into a bye week, and that, that wasn't a fun week uh, to, be a, to be a part of. But we rebounded and, and got better from that, so we, we learned from it. Right, they they have kind of talked about how I don't think they have air conditioning in in the Carrier Dome, which is uh, unique. But I think that's probably why we're practicing outside today. So, but we're not, um, you know, we're used to hot weather and playing in 95 degree heat. So I think it'll be just fine. But yeah, I think I think it'll be a great loud experience. I've heard it's a a great venue to to play at. So yeah. You guys talk amongst yourselves at all uh, on the defensive side of the ball about having the pride of not allowing this program to take any steps back even though you lost a handful of guys obviously to the NFL. Right, right. Kind of the, the motto we've had in the D-line room since, you know, spring to now has just been no drop off. You know, we're going to do everything we can to just carry on the legacy that those guys left last year. And, hey, we don't have to be Cleveland Farrell, Austin Bryant. We just need to be ourselves and give great effort every day. And if we do that, we're, we're going to be successful. So. How much momentum do you guys take off the performance Saturday? And I think they were under 300 yards, and I think half, more than half of those came on the, on the final couple of drives. Right. That was, it was a huge confidence builder for the defense, and I think that's that's the best result we could have gotten. And, you know, I think everybody was pleased with it, and it's it's big going into this week. I asked Luke Sweeney at a press conference, this defense with all the losses that you guys had to the graduation at the NFL, you guys uh, seem to be searching for an identity. What would be the identity that you think you guys have? I just I think you know hard workers blue collar not afraid to put our face in it um, I, you know I think we'll establish more of an identity as the season goes on but uh, after the first two games I think they're certainly pleased with what they've seen and you know we can kind of establish ourselves as, as the year goes forward so yeah It's really an eyes kind of a game, isn't it? And right. You, and you have to watch everything that they do. Right. Yeah. Tommy De, uh, DeVito's a great quarterback, and he's um, you know got a got a heck of an arm, and they they do a lot of similar stuff that our offense does as far as you know with the run game. But you know we're excited. They're they're an up tempo offense, and always going to keep us on our toes. And but we're we're uh, looking forward to the challenge for sure. How much of that Maryland game have you guys? Uh, we we dived into it a, a good bit yesterday, and. Um, just kind of taking it play one play at a time, breaking down what they do best. So yeah. What did you see from Maryland that they were able to expose? Um, I, I saw you know some good defensive line play and uh, just kind of stuff in the run, and that's that's always stuff we we like to see, and just kind of seeing their techniques and the way they do different things is always always good. Anybody else? All right. All right. Thanks, sir.